Hi again. It's Sam. Or Sammy, as my dad called me. Hammy Sammy. He never called me by my real name. It was always nicknames with him. Hammy, Timmy, Johnny. Some people have asked whether my dad's tapes or videos are just audio. Unfortunately, it's only audio. All cassette tapes. I guess the precinct he worked out of didn't have updated technology. Or maybe dad just liked the grainy sound of cassettes. I think my dad would be proud of me. I just wish he could have seen this while he was alive. Maybe he would have told me he was proud. Out loud, I mean. A few of you have asked how my dad died. I don't know why that matters. I don't have to remind you, but my dad's name was Danny. How are you feeling, Brianna? Can you talk to me? Brianna, you need to talk to me so we can get all this straightened out. You know what you have to do. You know I can't do that. What if I drink some water? Doesn't matter. You have to eat. Fine. Is a granola bar good enough? Yes. You have to eat the whole thing. I have to say, I've never been asked to eat in front of someone before. Show me your mouth. I want to see if you chewed it. <sighs> I'm so glad. I haven't seen any real people in weeks. Weeks? Where have you been? Nowhere special. I try to stay out of the crowds. They're everywhere. Walking around, driving cars. I hide most of the day. Where do you live? Lots of places. I like alleys because they avoid them. I like dark spaces, but sometimes they find me. Who? Them. Can you tell me more about them? I don't know. Remember, I ate the granola bar. I remember. They don't eat. They can't eat. Them. The copies. Copies of what? Everyone. <sighs> I think you might see them too. I do. When did it start for you? My 15th birthday. I was blind to it before then, but I can remember that day so clearly. All my friends came over, but they weren't my friends. They were copies. They looked exactly the same, sounded the same, but I knew. I knew they weren't real. My parents told me I was delusional. I didn't realize it then, but they were copies too. They took me to a doctor who told me I was crazy, but that's just what they want you to believe. They want me to keep quiet about it. Someone, or something, is replacing everyone on Earth with identical copies. But... They made one fatal error. The copies, they can't eat. They just put the food up to their faces but can't chew. They can't put anything inside their mouths. They just do the motions of eating without actually digesting. It's the only way you can tell who is real. I haven't been home in... Well, it's got to be more than ten years. I'm not going to live with those things. I'll take my chances on the streets. The streets aren't safe, though. Nowhere is safe. There are copies everywhere. They try to act normal, but I see right through them. Like last year with that doctor. Dr. Stevens? Ha! What a joke. They thought if they locked me up and made me talk with that... That... Thing! That I would stop fighting them. But it was just another copy. How did you know? It wouldn't eat. I dared it to told it that if it was really real, it would be no problem, but it refused. Made some excuse about not playing into my delusion. The copies, they think they're smarter than me. 
but I know how to deal with them. How? The same way you deal with any intruder, you end them. The copies, they don't feel pain. They don't feel anything. They can't. Oh, they scream and carry on like they can. But it's all a lie. <laughs> but they bleed. They bleed. A lot. Why didn't you end me, Brianna? Because that would be murder. You ate. You proved to me that you're real. I would never hurt a real person. How many copies have you ended? Thirty-one. I don't go out searching for them. It's only when they come to me. I don't enjoy watching them bleed. Although I have to admit, there is a sick pleasure in knowing that you are removing one more of those things from this planet. I don't know where they came from, but I know for sure that they are a plague. Aren't you afraid they might make a copy of you? <sighs> oh no. They can't make a copy of me. Why? Because they don't make copies of dead people. I have to admit, the clarity in which she said the last sentence shook me up. The girl was insane. It turns out she had two concurrent mental illnesses. Capra's delusion and Kotar delusion. Capra's is really creepy. It makes the people think other people have been replaced or disguised. Usually it's just the people close to them, but Brianna believes it was everyone. They eventually ended up pinning nine murders on her, but she says herself that she committed 31. I have a theory about the whole eating thing. I dug into my dad's records and apparently she was hospitalized in middle school for extreme anorexia. I bet she turned that into some sort of fixture out of her delusion. But the cotard part, that's really scary. It makes people actually believe that they're dead. They're just a dead person walking around. I'm sure her emaciated frame didn't help her seem alive either. This girl was creepy. But that's not what has been bothering me. I can't get over how my dad responded to her when he said he saw copies too. I know intelligently that it's just a tactic to get her to talk more. But the way he said it, it was like... It was true. I don't know. I, I just don't like the way it makes me feel.